Ugh, mucus. The scourge of mankind. This cold really has you on the ropes, doesn't it, Tick? No mere common cold, Arthur. No. <coughs> this must be some super interstellar mutant virus from space. Empires have fallen at the foot of this box. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, well, don't give it to me. Arthur, resistance wearing down. Must have more soup. Sure. What the? Hey, the mail came. Yuck. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's for somebody in apartment 14B. That's next door. It says, attention, Thracker Zog. You may have just won $10 million. Soup. I'd better get this to its rightful owner. Arthur, is that you? Eyes failing, chicken soup, only chance for survival. Oh, Tick, relax. Everybody gets a cold once in a while. Please, the soup. Listen, I'm going to take this letter to the right apartment. I'll be back soon. <laughs> uh, 14B, well, this must be the place. <laughs> what? Who are you? Thrakozog, from Dimension Apartment. 14B. Hi, I'm your new neighbor. Welcome to my humble abode. Pretty cozy, don't you think? How? How did I get here? Well, oh, easily. I tore a hole into the fabric of your dimension with my interplanar portal panel, patent pending. Pretty sweet, eh? What are you doing? Raggedy Chippy! Now, now, now. There will be plenty of time for brain eating after we conquer Earth. <laughs> And to conquer said Earth, I will need an invincible army, a million superhuman soldiers marching to the tune of my big drum, which is why I shall clone the mighty blue tick. Clone the tick? Oh, yes. Your superhero friend is all the attributes I require. Incredible strength, nigh invulnerability, and a teeny tiny little brain. Big brain! Imagine a legion of ticks at my command. Oh, no! Oh, yes! And when my army is complete, I will rule the world! Mm, eat lots of brains! Fresh, tasty brains! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, uh, are we bothering you? No, I just want some munchies. My roommate. He's kind of weird, but he's quiet and always comes through with his half of the rent. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, cloning. Wait a second. What do you want with me if it's the tick you're after? Don't you know anything? You're the sidekick. I clone you, then I send the evil clone to procure a tissue sample of the tick so I can clone a million of him. And speaking of tissue samples, I need to get one from you. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Oh, yes, yes I do. Now hold still. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? Cloning is a precise science. That's why I use the clonerizer. It costs more, but you get what you pay for. My own recipe includes a generous portion of Dr. Thrag's secret cloning sauce, a pinch of oregano, because, you know, a little goes a long way, and last but not least, your toenail. Mix well, and voila! Arthur the sidekick, prepare to meet Arthur the evil clone. I, Arthur. 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 I, 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 Arthur. Arthur. I, Arthur. I, Arthur. <laughs> He's an eager little bunny, isn't he? They're a bit excitable at first. Oh, oh, no, no. I, Arthur. 
evil clone. We do not touch the don't button. That would send Uncle Thrakazorg back to his own dimension. And let me say, the ride back is no picnic. I'd rather be strained through a chain link fence. Ugh. Clone, go next door and fetch me a tissue sample from the tick. Got it? A tissue sample. I, Arthur. You'll never get away with this, you overconfident blob. The tick will be onto that flimsy fabrication in a second. He hasn't got a chance against the always wary eye of the ever alert tick. I just had the strangest dream. I was taking some math test I hadn't studied for, and then you tried to saw off my head. Weird, huh? I, Arthur. <laughs> of course you are. And I, Tick. Sorry, Arthur. <laughs> Blast this uncommon cold anyway. Well, only one thing to do now. Wear this super cold down with many hours of daytime television. Ooh, hey, look. It's Honesty Cola's world of wrestling. Cool. Hear me, wrestling fans. I, the human baboon, crave vengeance. Beautiful Steven will know the agony of my feet. Uh, I mean, defeat. Well, it's been a while. All must be going well. Apparently, the tick wasn't so quick to discover my clone. Oh, brain! <laughs> Big brain! Don't be so sure. Tick will catch on. Just you wait. Actually, I can't wait. I have to go if you catch my drift. Nature is one call you can't put on hold. Be right back. Be right back! No offense, but you scare me. What's going on, little bunny guy? I am a moth. Are you aware that your roommate is a hideous monster from another dimension with evil plans for world domination? Listen. A good roommate relationship is based on a respect for privacy. Look, can you at least loosen these straps because they're chafing me? The human baboon has pulled something out of his baboon pants. It looks like an unsanctioned foreign object. Yes, it's a scale model of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And he's coming out swinging. Ooh, au revoir, beautiful Steven. <laughs> Parlez-vous. Ouch. Now, a commercial. Oh, Arthur, there you are. It's so nice to have company to watch TV with. <laughs> Brace yourself while corporate America tries to sell us its wretched things. I like Jack Hammering. I better. I do it all day long. It's a man's job, and I work up a man's eye sweat on my brow. You sure do. But I'm not afraid to pamper myself with a plush tissue when my brow needs a good wiping. Plush? Here, big fella. Sample my tissue. I'll show you a tissue sample. <laughs> Fetch me a tissue sample from the tick. Hello. Oh. You, I'd regret that burrito. Hey, 
What's happening here? Uh, the little bunny guy was chafing himself on the ropes, so I loosened him up a bit. You what? He's a moth guy, and how many times do I have to say it? Don't touch my stuff. This is my side of the living room, and that is your side of the living room. And must you drink straight out of the milk carton? It's disgusting. Rally, beautiful Stephen. Rally. Oh, that can't be good for his lower back. You bit baboon, you stinker. Stop your evil ways. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, Dick, help! Gad, my cold has escalated into double vision. I'm the real Arthur. He's a clone. I, Arthur. What manner of rare quadri is this? How could I be sure which Arthur is the real Arthur? <laughs> look, Dick, look! He's turning into a monster! Monster? Where? I don't see anything wrong with him, uh, Arthur. If you two don't stop this roughhousing, somebody's gonna get hurt and end up crying. I know how I can prove I'm the real Arthur. I'll tell you something only you and I would know. Uh, go ahead, Arthur-like person. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, remember that time my sister gave me that V-neck sweater vest for my birthday? And, and we tried to return it to the store, and they'd only give me credit, and, and I was so upset, and, and then at lunch they put onions on my cheeseburger after I expressly asked the waitress not to. Do you remember that day, Tick? Oh, indeed I do. Now your turn. I, Arthur... I can't argue with that. <laughs> Is that you, Arthur? Yes! No need for raised voices. Look, Tick, there's this obscene monster who lives next door, and it wants to clone you and take over the world. Are you sure you're the real Arthur? Oh, come on! Tick, please let me go. Lock, Tick. Step back, Arthur. I'll take care of the door. Merciful heavens! Too late, too late. Too late, too late. Ick. <laughs> what horror is this? So mighty Tick. At last we meet. It's nice to finally get to know the neighbors. I am Thrakozog, evil ruler of Dimension 14B. Allow me to introduce your successor. I was a bit worried at first. I mean, he is a little mucus intensive, but you work with what you've got. Enough prattle, villain. I don't mind a little science, but no one mucks around with the tick's bodily membranes. Prepare for swift justice. Oh-ho! So foul, gelatin. You would do battle with the nose of your birth? Hey, you guys aren't gonna fight in here, are you? And why not? I pay half the rent. We'll lose our cleaning deposit if any half gets messed up. Oh, the cleaning deposit. What was I thinking? Of course you're right. Now what? How about the roof? Good call, Arthur. There's a place good always fights evil. Well, works for me. Quite frankly, that's why I was so glad to find this great apartment. You'd be surprised how hard it is to get a place in the city. Never mind that most folks are hesitant to rent to a slime-based organism, much less one with intentions of taking over the world. And you brains, too! Don't forget the brains! It is good, this roof. I am pleased. Come on, let's get this over with nose jelly. Tick, wait! Hey, no whispering. Tick, keep them busy. I think I know how to get Thrakazog back to his own dimension. When I give you the high sign, try to throw the mucus tick into Thrakazog. A high sign? Are you a great sidekick or what? Let's get to it. Break! Coward. This is disgusting. You're no threat to humanity. Well, except for maybe the gross-out factor. Go ahead, Slimey. Take your best shot. <laughs> I 
a dog a worthy adversary. Don't press the don't button. <laughs> I'll press your don't button, buddy. <clears throat> Heavier than it looks. Eat bricks! Ooh, he's good. Can I clone or can I clone? Surrender, Tick. You're hopelessly outclassed. I don't know the meaning of the word surrender. Uh, I mean, I know it. I'm not dumb. Just not in this context. And if it's class you want... Talk to me about class. Lucky break. Here goes nothing. Oh. Need an extension cord. Huh? What? Oh, that old joke. So, what tired routine do you do for an encore? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Now that's going to leave a mark. <sighs> All aboard for the Transdimensional Express. Huh? <sighs> Why me? Can't be good for my cold. But this is no time for selfish thoughts. It's time for a little turnabout. Ugh. Can you get any more disgusting? Don't make me come in there. Wait a second. Smells like ambush! Mucal invader! Is there no end to your oozing? Adapter! 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 Thanks! I've had enough chasing. It's your turn now, Thoris Bog. Thrakosog! Thrakosog with a K! Boy, are you ever rude. Eat rude brain! No brains today. We're only serving humble pie, watch a zog Listen, buddy, for the last time, it's... Four racks in a bog. Thrack or zog Ah, uh, laxative log. No, no, no. Laplander zog No. Four yaks in a dog. Thrack! Sap sucker frog. No, no, no! <coughs> Susan? <sighs> now you're doing it on purpose. How juvenile. Oh, oh, no! Yeah! Let's see how you like it, name call boy. Or should I say, tuck, tack, talk. <gasps> Come on, Tick. No, it's no time for friendly greetings, lad. Tick, high sign. Tick. High side. Oh, high side. Right, right. <clears throat> Okay, nostril spawn. I didn't want to have to do this. I mean, I really didn't want to have to do this. But you asked for it. It's not possible. Can't hold it. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing like a bit of drama to clear the sinuses. Once again, we've blasted the nasal passages of the city clean of the cloning mucus of evil. Now we can all breathe free and easy and smell the lilacs in bloom. Hello, aroma! Uh, yeah, I'll get the soup.